Hello and welcome back to Unrest Digest and hello and welcome back to the video if you have already watched part one as this will have to be part two due to a storage issue I had on my phone. Going back to, oh that was, I was saying about Gary Lineker, got me so careful you don't say Gary, Glitter, especially with times like these. Yeah, I believe he's on a very high salary. So if it is a six figure, it's not his. The style is off air, but has not been suspended while claims are being investigated. They include one that he gave the youngster woman £35,000 since they were 17 in return for sordid images. According to the BBC's website, staff accused a serious breach of discipline and could be immediately suspended. But the presenter is believed to st still being paid his full six figure salary. Ah, so is this person even suspended? They're just being paid. Stars including Gary Lineker went on to deny it was them. Well, just out of the blue. Wasn't me, lads. We, we weren't asking if it was you or not. I'm just make sure it's not me. The story dominated BBC, TV, radio and online news coverage. It's just that like Gary Lineker and that nobody else. BBC presenter, like no one else can think of anyone else. It's probably like someone you don't really know. It's like, oh, I think I've seen his face on the news a few times or something. Oh, Lucy journalists report the corporation faced questions over its handling of the crisis. On Radio 4's flagship Today programme, BBC Culture and Media Editor Katie Rasmussen said it's the front page of the Sun newspaper and the allegations are very serious. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be laughing here. I'm not. I'm just laughing at the BBC because I'm fed up them, like stealing money from people to fund this kind of debaucherous behaviour. Uh, another theory is it's Jeremy Vine. If I was going to make a guess, I'd say maybe, because I see a lot of weird imagery on the Jeremy Vine channel. And in multiple comment sections of it, I'm seeing some weird FBI, not FBI, but FBI stuff. They talked about certain logos to do with certain relationships with certain types of people that isn't allowed but there's some groups that like to do that and they have their logos and slogans and they look oddly familiar to the ones I see on Jeremy Vine. Just saying. So clearly there are questions swirling, not just about the identity of the people in terms of the corporation to after that complaint was made. I'm sure the BBC did everything in their power to do right by the child and definitely not protect their own staff members. An interview with the Sun on Sunday, the mother said the family complained in May, became frustrated that the star was still there a month later. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. She said in June that her child told her they received a payment of £1,000 and allegedly transferred by PayPal. She went on, my child said they'd run out of money and I suddenly had this cash. Oh dear. It's obvious to me the BBC hadn't spoken to this man between our complaint on May 19th and in June they thought he was too important. We never wanted an investigation, we just wanted the BBC to tell him to stop. Why? It needs to be more than that. You need the investigation. I mean, I suppose it's, it's iffy because 17 isn't... Oh. I don't know. I don't understand the law. I know it's not even, I don't even think it's 16, you can do what you want. She added to the presenter, earlier this year I heard him on the phone saying to my child, effing ring me. It was shocking as I'd see how they, he would act on telly and then he would say stuff like that. Earlier the mother heartbreakingly told the teenager, now 20, he used the man's alleged funds to feed a spiralling drug addiction. Ghost, oh my god. Oh dear, it gets worse, it gets really bad. Ghost like crack addict. She said they've gone from a happy go lucky youngster to a ghost like crack addict. Oh my. You know what? Let's save this for another video because this is going to be harrowing. Let's do this in a part series. I'm going to breathe through this properly. 